Chaz Davis is one of the world's top motorcycle racers. My name is Chaz Davis. I'm a professional motorcycle racer and I won the World Super Sport Championship. Yet amazingly, he only passed his road test this summer. I only did my test two months ago. Summer was coming, I want to get a bike and I want to put the helmet on and just tootle up into the mountains. It was like any sportsman is called Davis. And I'm Alan Davis, comedian and motorbike racing nut. Yesterday, got the train down to Chippenham and met Chaz Davis. That's Chaz there. I can't quite get my head around the fact that you've been racing bikes since you were, what, 15? Racing younger? professionally since I was 15, but started when I was about six. And never so had a license. I've come here today to advance my road motorcycle skills, uh, something which is quite different to what I do on the track. So biking has brought us together here in the Cotswolds to do a further training course with a bunch of regular riders from all over the country. <laughs> There'll be bike control sessions at Castle Coon Racetrack and thrills, hopefully without spills, as we learn the mysterious art of roadcraft on the beautiful and potentially lethal roads. Hi, Hi nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. Hello, I'm Rob. Hi, Rob. I've only done four days on a bike on the road in total, so give me time. Don't have a bike at the moment. I haven't been a biker for about a year. I'll be lucky to get out of the car park. It sounds ridiculous for me to be asked to, to go out and teach somebody like Chaz Davis on the track he's a master. And yet, coming out on the road with me, it's like him being back at school. All of us are doing something right, because we're still here. Yeah, when well, I came on the train. <laughs> <laughs> now, time to really find out what I'm doing wrong on the road. I observe the riders, I look at the way they ride, where their helmet is pointing, kind of tells me where they're looking. And when we stop, the response is to open-ended questions. And the two together gives me a good indication of where we can improve. What happened on that route that was of interest? Uh, I would say the two tractors, they were obviously going really slow and I decided to tuck in between them just to err on the side of caution. Yeah. Where I probably could have gone straight through. You weren't clear, you didn't go ahead. Got stopped, given a few tips, and I was told that I was Behaving like I was on a racetrack. I'm hunting the apex. OK, so we're, we're, think, we're thinking speed round the corner. Yeah, if I'm having a racing fantasy all the time when I'm riding the bike. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm Chaz. Coming into the corner, the position that you're adopting is fantastic. You can see as clear as a bell. Well, stay there. By cutting the corner on the road, you minimise your view. You cut down on the time you've got to react when you do see something coming the other way. And therefore, we've got a, a bigger risk of, of an accident or, or conflict. So they've got me out of the habit of looking for apexes and changing down through the gears dramatically and much more in the habit of actually looking where you're going on the road. Rob was fantastic. It was really, really good to watch him and he was really stylish, but it was all race set. So we were coming to traffic islands in built up areas and he was what they call seat shifting, knee out, and it looked fantastic, but it's, it's like using a sledgehammer to crack a nut. So, who had the safety briefing this morning? Yeah. What did they say about the yellow line? <laughs> it's Chaz again. 